Hey sunshines, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, this nice girl is actually going to be talking trash. I keep this bin in my bedroom closet floor and as I am finished with products, I throw them in here. I have some that I love and some that I don't. I try and be really honest. I'm gonna link all the products down below. And just FYI, if there's a product that I don't like and you do, let me know down below. Everybody's body chemistry is different. I have drier skin, a little bit more mature. You could have oily skin, or you may like scent or not scent, or you might like a lot of grit in your scrub. Could be a lot of different reasons why we have differing opinions, and that is okay. That's what makes us all unique, right? Um, I don't really have a place on my channel to do like a dedicated video every month where I talk about things I like and things that I don't, but in almost every unboxing, I get somebody saying, I would love to know your feedback on that particular product. So if you'd like to see something like this on a more monthly basis, let me know, maybe a faves versus fails or hits versus misses subscription box edition. I need a better title than that. Let me know <laughs> some title ideas down below and if you'd like to see that every month. And let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so I don't know about you, but I love watching Empty's videos. I love hearing people's true opinions, whether they would purchase something again and maybe discovering a product that I didn't know about. So hopefully in this overflowing bin, I will have a few of those for you too. If you're new to my channel, I just wanted to say welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. My name is Christy. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And to all my tried and true Sunshine Squad, thank you for being here and taking time out of your Saturday to spend with me. Okay, so the first item in this box is the Vitabrid C12 Scalp Shampoo. I got this in my test tube beauty box. Love that box. It looks like this. And I thought this was a perfectly lovely shampoo. I didn't notice that it did anything great for my hair, but I liked it. Uh, however, looking back, I was using this like January, February. And if you remember, my hair went nuts. It grew so quickly during that time. And I'm pretty sure it was because of this shampoo. It has biotin in it. And I don't know, if you're trying to grow your hair, this might be one that you wanna try. So that's what that looks like. I don't know that I would use it again. I'm really a fan of the Tresemme shampoos. Um, but again, if you were trying to sort of grow your hair or if you're having any scalp problems, this one might work for you. Okay, the next thing in here is the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish, and this is in the scent Crushed Macadamia and Rice Milk. I feel like this Dove had a moment in subscription boxes, like a ton, maybe like a year to 18 months ago. I feel like every box we got a little tiny sample of this, and I sort of fell in love with it. I'm a scrub girl. I use scrub on my face. I use scrub on my body. I just feel like it's good for your skin to slough off all that old, and I just love the scent of this one. I like a scrubby scrub, and this one isn't the scrubbiest, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like, I like a lot of grit. This one doesn't have as much grit as I normally would like, but I do love the consistency of it, and I love the scent. It just smells warm and homey, and like you just want to put on your cozy pajamas after you're done, and just, I don't know. It just gives that scent. I would definitely buy this again. This is not my first tub of it. It's probably my fifth or sixth one. And I really do love it. And I love this scent. This is the macadamia, like I said, and rice milk. And a big tub of this is, I don't know, six or so dollars and it lasts a good long time. Okay, so the next thing in here is one of my favorites. This is the Bath & Body Foaming Hand Soap in Kitchen Lemon. I gotta say, I tried some of the other hand soaps like Method and some of the more natural or less chemically um, hand soaps, and I do not like them as much as I like the Bath & Body Works. So I've got away from some of the Bath & Body Works. I'm still working through a bunch. If you saw my closet clean out, you saw my shelf of shame. I went a little nuts with Bath & Body Works about a year and a half ago, and I'm still working through the products. Um, but honestly, I will buy their hand soap when they go like, I don't know, five for or seven for $21 or something. I just go in and buy all of it. It lasts me for a year. And I love this scent in my kitchen, this lemon scent. I just think it is wonderful. So this I will purchase over and over and over again. Okay, so the next thing is this Essential Elements shower gel in Fresh Neroli. This is probably my favorite shower gel I have ever 
had. And if I was not an unboxing channel and didn't get as much body wash and soap as I do, this would be the one that I bought all the time. It's got the most amazing orange scent. You know when you like grate the rind of an orange, how it just smells so fresh? That's what it smells like. It's such a good morning wake up scent. And this lasted me, I think I got this in the fall. This lasted me so long. It didn't take much to wash my whole body. I loved this stuff. Okay, the next item in here is the Way Leave-In Conditioner. Now, when I first got this, I think I got it in a FabFitFun or something. I was raving about it. I'm like, I love this product. And then I got about, I don't know, halfway through and I'm like, I don't really like this product anymore. I think it's fine, but I think there's a lot of leave-in conditioners that are actually a lot better for a lot smaller price. So I probably would not purchase this product again. I didn't think it was bad. I just think there are products better that are less expensive. So that is a no for me. Okay, this one's a little controversial. I almost didn't put this one in there because I feel like people are very opinionated when you talk about health and wellness. Remember, these are my favorites. They don't have to be yours. I got this in, I believe it was my Bombay and Cedar, and these are the Sugar Bear Hair Women's Multivitamins. So these are not the hair vitamins. These are their multivitamins. Stinkin' love these. I have repurchased them. There's another jar of them on my nightstand or my vanity right in front of my mirror. One of the reasons that I like these so much is because I was taking an oral multivitamin, which I thought was great and I still really like it, but I wouldn't use it every day. And I like the gummies because when I'm sitting there doing my makeup before I film, which I do almost every day, I see them and I take them. I like the way they make me feel. They have a lot of B vitamins and things in them. I think there's a little bit of sugar because they are a gummy. That doesn't really bother me. It may for you. Um, you know, as always, when you try any kind of vitamins or anything, you have to talk to your health professional. But I really like the way these make me feel. I feel like I'm in a better mood because of the B vitamins. Um, I don't know, I just like them and I find that I take them more often because they are gummies. I will say, if you get these on Amazon, they're about a dollar cheaper than they are on the Sugar Bear Hair website. So if you purchase them, I would highly suggest you purchase them from Amazon. They say they have a berry flavor. To me, they taste a little bit more citrusy, but you take two a day, they're delicious. They're easy to take. I have repurchased them. I will continue to repurchase them. I really do like them. These are the multi, again, vitamins, not the hair ones. Okay, the next item is, this is just a nail polish remover from the Dollar Tree. I think the Dollar Tree nail polish remover is as good as anything you're gonna get anywhere else. Maybe not as good. I think it is nice though. It has vitamin E, panthenol for natural nails, takes off my nail polish when I need it to. Can't beat it for a dollar. Okay, the next item, I have shown this over and over again in empties. I will continue to buy these. I get this from Grove, but they sell this anywhere. They sell Alba products. This is their Very Emollient Shave Cream in Vanilla Mango. I know a bunch of you have tried this on my recommendation because a bunch of you have come back and said, I stick and love that shave gel. Um, it smells so tropical and beachy. It just smells like summer, but I use it all year round. It's a nice thick, this thing will last you six or nine months. It, a little dab will do you, it's very thick, it's easy to smooth on, and the scent is incredible. And Alba is more of a natural brand. Love that, we'll continue to buy that over and over again. Okay, another die hard product for me is the Dove Dry Spray. Love this stuff, I'm actually out of it, and so my husband got, sometimes he's a, he is a couponer, and so he will get some things for very cheap, 25 cents, 50 cents. A lot of times we will donate them to an emergency women and children's shelter, but we happen to have one on the shelf. It is a Sure deodorant. I don't like that stuff. <laughs> I don't think it works. I've not found anything that works for me personally as well as this Dove. Um, this is the one that um, you can like spray it even on your shirt and it doesn't leave any residue. But I also like the cucumber scent, but I will, continue to purchase this over and over again. Okay, the next thing is the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. This is my number one favorite scent from Bath & Body Works, and I finished it. This was one from my shelf of shame. I still have half, half a shelf of shame left. I'm trying to work through that. Okay, the next thing, this is another sort of 
um, health and wellness item, but I really liked it. And I know right now there's like debates on whether elderberry is good with COVID that I'm not, I wasn't taking these during that time, but you can make your own decision. Um, these are the Zarbi's Natural Elderberry Immune Support Gummies. They have vitamin C, zinc, and real elderberry. Loved these, loved them so much. And I did buy another container of them. You can get these on Grove Collaborative. You can get them at CVS. They're, I think you can get them probably at Target, Walmart, probably Amazon, but I really liked them. Okay, the next item in here is the Ahava Natural Dead Sea Bath Salts. I think I got these in some subscription box. I didn't really think my bath was anything extra special with these. I didn't, I don't know. I, and Ahava is a nice brand and it's an expensive brand, but honestly, I would not purchase these. I was happy to have them in a subscription box, but I probably, I not any probably, I would not buy these again. <laughs> However, this is the um, Village Naturals Therapy Aches and Pains Muscle Relief Mineral Bath Soak. This stuff you can get at Walmart for a couple of dollars. You can get it like a box of it and it's amazing. Like if I had to pick the two, the expensive mineral one or this one, is this a mineral one? This is Dead Sea Salts, this is minerals. This one all day long. I've had several samples of this and bought can, entire, I don't know if it comes in a box or a bag. I think it actually comes in a bag at Walmart. Anyway, um, my son loves it for when he is working out or on the ice and has had a hard workout. It is for muscle and joint discomfort, tired, sore feet, or on the go relief. And it's in the scent menthol spearmint. So if you're even having a cold, that menthol and spearmint sort of helps to open up your lungs. I love this stuff and you can get it so inexpensively. Love that. Okay, this is, I was looking for this this morning. I found this little baby Dove dry spray as I was cleaning out a closet and because I don't like the Sure, I um, had pulled this out and then I lost it. I had thrown it in my empties. So happy to have that. I will use that deodorant later. <laughs> okay, the next thing is by, oh, I love this stuff. This is by Botanica. It's called Nude Beach Bath Soak. I got this um, as an add-on in Grove Collaborative. I will look and see if I can find a website for this. If you like baths, you will love this. It smells so good. It's beachy and fresh. I just loved every second of this and I actually went back on Grove and found it again and bought two more containers of it. Love this stuff. I just dump a little bit in. This has coconut, banana, and orchid. I'm not a floral girl. Matter of fact, orchids I think are so beautiful, but I don't like the scent. Um, but this is so fresh and interesting. It doesn't smell like banana either. It just smells tropical. Okay, the next thing in here is a Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Detox Hydrogel Eye Patches. Loved these. I love Peter Thomas Roth products. I haven't found one that I don't like. It's just very, very expensive. I don't remember if I got this. I think Sephora has, like, if you're a member, they have those little point boxes you can get with points. And I think this came in there. I really did like it. I think if I remember, I, I looked it up to see how expensive they were and they were sort of out of my price range, but I would love to get these in a box again. Um, this is the Epsoak Everyday Muscle Soak. I get this from Grove Collaborative. Again, this is one that my son really likes. So if he is working out um, and has extra sore muscles, he loves this stuff and it's wonderful and a bunch of you i think i've talked about this on my channel before and a bunch of you said that you guys liked it too this also has peppermint essential oil in it really great good stuff okay the next thing in here is the natra brazil Rumru reconstructive hair mask i love a good hair mask once or twice a a month and I get a lot of questions when I talk about a hair mask. It's like a deep conditioner for your hair. So when you're in the shower, I will wash my hair and then I will put this on and let it sit for two or three minutes as I'm washing my body, as I'm shaving my legs, as I'm exfoliating, whatever I'm doing, and then I will rinse it off. A lot of times you leave them on for 10 or 15 minutes. I find that my hair is like cotton candy after I do that. I can't leave a deep conditioner on that long. My hair just won't do what I want. So that's what I do, but also my son has really, really thick hair and he loved this stuff. 
<laughs> so we actually shared it. And he was like, mom, can you get more of this? I think, sorry, my camera's blowing it out. I think that I got this in like a FabFitFun box. Highly recommend. Okay, I got, I have a couple of like Tresemme minis in here. I think these might've come from um, my Target Beauty box. There is the, these are all the moisture rich ones. I love Tresemme. If I have to pick one shampoo to use the rest of my life, it would be the Tresemme. This is the moisture rich, which I really like, but my favorite is the keratin. But I had a bunch of these. They were um, kind of stacking up on my minis. And so I went ahead and used a bunch of them. Loved them. There's probably more down in here. This is a Nexus one. This is the Humectris conditioner. Liked this one too. After Tresemme, Nexus would be my next brand. And both of them used to be like salon brands. And now you can buy them in like Target, Walmart, CVS. So look for Nexus products. One of my favorite dry shampoos. Matter of fact, I should go get it because it's empty. I used the last of it this morning. Um, is Nexus. So a great product. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get that while we're talking about it. Okay, I am back. So here is the dry shampoo that I'm really liking. This is the Nexus Dry Shampoo Refreshing Mist. This has pearl extract in it. I don't find that it leaves a white tint on my skin or my hair. It has a really nice refreshing scent. I actually don't use dry shampoo when my hair gets oily. My hair doesn't really get oily because my skin is so dry, but sometimes um, I just need a little bit of extra texture or hold in my hair. And so I will just add a little bit sort of to the roots and it gives it a little bit of sort of volume in there. So I almost use a little bit of dry shampoo every day. And this is my favorite. I told my husband when this goes on sale at CVS to get me another one. So definitely we'll be buying that again, okay? The next thing is the Pearberry Shower Gel. Still working through the shelf of shame. <laughs> I like that one. It's my actual, one of my favorite scents behind Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. And I am actually using the Pearberry Lotion right now. That was from my shelf of shame. <laughs> and I walked in the other day and my daughter said, oh, you have pear on. <laughs> It does smell really good. Okay, the next thing in here is these Burt's Bees Eye Makeup Remover Pads. I don't use a lot of um, pre-moistened pads like makeup wipes or anything like that, but we were at CVS and we got an oh what a deal on Burt's Bees. They were having a great deal, plus we had extra care bucks. We ended up getting like four products for like $1.50 or something. And so I did pick these up. I feel like Burt's Bees is a nice brand, but some of their things are hit or miss. I don't like their foundation. I don't like their mascara. I love their lipsticks. If you haven't tried Burt's Bees lipsticks, they're great. Not the longest lasting, but their colors are just beautiful. Um, so I tried these just to see, and I loved them. So if you like an eye makeup remover, you may try this. Looks like that. All right, the next thing, this was also from my Test Tube Beauty. I use a lot of products from that. This is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. I always, when I go to TJ Maxx, I pick up Batiste Dry Shampoo because I just like the scent. I had always seen this wild version and I don't know, I just never picked it up. This is my favorite scent of this now. It smells sort of musky and a little bit like sexy. Like if you just wanted your hair to smell really good on a date night, I think this would be perfect. I do feel like Batiste leaves a tiny bit of a white cast. My hair's light enough where it doesn't really matter, but if you have really, really dark hair, I think that they do have a no white cast sort of formula, but I don't know if it comes in this wild. But I would definitely buy this scent again when TJ Maxx opens. Oh, TJ Maxx, I miss you. Um, I'm definitely gonna look for this again because it just smelled, I don't know, just musky and sexy. I'm gonna see if I can get a scent out of it. No, just air. <laughs> okay, the next item in here is the John Frieda Vibrancy enhancing conditioner. Now I don't color treat my hair. What you see is what you get. You can tell by all the gray, but I did get this in the how to be a redhead box. And even though, I mean, my kids were like, mom, we don't have color treated hair. I'm like, just use it. <laughs> um, and I thought it was fine. I didn't notice that anything lasted longer because I don't color treat my hair. We just use it as a regular conditioner. So I probably wouldn't buy this again just because of that, but I thought it was perfectly lovely. 
Okay, the next item in here is the Tresemme. This is my favorite line. I was talking about the Keratin Smooth. This is the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Frizz Free Hold Hairspray. This is the hairspray I use every single day. I love it, love it. This whole line, shampoo, conditioner, I use the smoothing spray, I use the heat protectant. I use sort of this whole line on my hair. I do have a hair video if you, a lot of people have mentioned my hair lately. I do have a hair tutorial up, but there it is. All right. Um, oh, here's another one of these. You can tell that I like this dry shampoo. I didn't realize I had one in here. It's really good. Okay, the next item in here, oh, this was interesting. I do not remember what box this came in. This is the June Jacobs Perfect Pumpkin Peeling Enzyme Mask. Now I'm a sheet mask girl. I don't really like masks you gotta put on and let dry and then rinse off. I don't know why, I just always forget to use them. And I pulled this out and loved it. It detoxifies and renews. And because it's an enzyme sort of, it's not a peel like you peel it off, but it's sort of, supposed to just kind of slough off all that dead skin. This stuff was amazing. And it did say you're only supposed to leave it on a certain amount of time. And I will say after the first time I used it, I think I left it on too long. And right under here, it made my skin really, really dry. But everywhere else, every time I used it, my skin looked amazing. I really, really liked this stuff and would buy it again. Matter of fact, sometimes I leave empties um, to the side so that I can repurchase. And this is the one I'm gonna set aside because I think I do wanna repurchase that. Okay, the next item, this is called, this was by Violet Moss. This was in my first Indulge Beauty Box, which I wasn't sure about that box the first time. And the second time I liked it, and now I'm obsessed with that box. If you were looking for a bath and body type of box, I think they're actually, their May box actually sold out. I am loving the bath products. This is from WWF, hold on, I need my glasses. I think it says G-O. WWFCO, this is the Sweet Aroma and Inflammation Relief Violet Leaf and Tonka Bath Soak. It was so good. And my Indulge Beauty Box, this was from the first one I got, and then I got a bigger box of it in the last one or a bigger bag. And I love that one too. It's by this same company, this WWFCO. This stuff is no joke. I love it. Okay, the next item in here, this is the Bamboo and Charcoal Body Scrub by Shea Moisture. I was not a fan of this at all. I used it to finish it. Matter of fact, I gave this to my son because every once in a while, you know, teens will get like back knee or whatever. He sweats a lot when he works out. He wasn't a fan of it. It sat in his shower forever. And finally, I just went in there and grabbed it and was like, I'm just gonna use it up. I'm sitting sick of seeing it. I wasn't a fan either. I didn't think it was very scrubby. I don't know. It just didn't, it just didn't do much for me. I would not purchase this again. Okay, the next thing is the Blench Bliss drench and quench moisturizer now i did a dupes video back in the summer and this is a dupe for the peter thomas roth is it cloud cream and i will say it, it's pretty close the only thing is i did not it was blue it looked like the, it looked like the color of downy fabric softener and it also smelled like downy fabric softener. When you put it on your face, you didn't smell it, but for some reason I could not get over that. So I do think it was a dupe. If you like the Peter Thomas Roth and are trying to get a little bit more budget friendly, you can get this at CVS, but I don't know that I would purchase this again. There was something about it that just didn't do it for me. And I think it was the color. I think I like color in a lot of things, but not in my face cream. Okay, the next item, okay. <laughs> This is a weird one too. This is the Proactive Skin Smoothing Exfoliator. I think I got this like in a Target box or something. You can tell this one has been around the block for a while. Look how dirty it is. I believe this one was also in my son's shower. I threw it in there for him. It might've been an Emma's, I'm not sure, um, but it wasn't getting used. And um, a matter of fact, it was in my son's because I said, why aren't you using that? And he said, I feel like I break out more. And I do feel like there is something to that with some of these like acne products I feel like they don't really preach that you need to moisturize your skin after you use stuff like this. It kind of strips the oil out of your skin. So you produce more oil, which produces sometimes more acne. And so I just took this out of his shower and I just finished the rest of it. So not really a fan. <laughs> 
Okay, the next item is this fairy tale smitten bath tea. This is like little tea bags you put in your bath. I wasn't a fan. Every tea tea bag bath thing I've tried, I just I don't really like them. I don't know. All right, the next item is this Nivea Foaming Silk Mousse Body Wash. I've talked about this a bunch of times on my channel. My son was sort of in a axe body wash phase and I was like that stuff is so gross it smells nasty it's got a ton of chemicals in it so I was really trying this was when he was like 13 12 13 14 I was trying to find something to get him away from that and this comes out like shaving cream so it is a body wash but it comes out like shaving cream you got to find this on sale because it's stupid expensive it's like $7.99 or something for this can watch it on um CVS because you can get it really really inexpensively we would get it for like 99 cents a can with extra care bucks and sales and all of that and so he used this for like two years like we kept buying them over and over again and finally he was like I don't like this anymore can I have the axe I was like darn it <laughs> anyway he liked this for a long time I thought it was lovely but it is no more the next thing in here is the Suds Pumpkin Spice Sugar Scrub. I think I got this in a boutique in Florida. So I don't know if you can purchase this. I think it was like a mom and pop company, but it smelled amazing and I loved it. Oh gosh, you guys, this stuff was awful. This is the Herbal Essences Refresh Blue Ginger and Micellar Water Shampoo. Now this is sort of their more natural shampoo hated every single shampoo with this my husband again is a couponer and so he was like hey this has no parabens it's gluten-free has no colorants no silicones it looked really good he's like you can pretty much get one of these for free and i was like you know what i used to love herbal essences let's try this natural one stunk i thought it was awful i felt like it stripped my hair every time um, I would have to use a ton of conditioner when I used it. I struggled through this. The kids stopped using it, so they left me out to dry. I think I, I think it sort of traveled to all the different showers trying to get it used up. None of us liked this. Didn't no, not a fan. All right, here's another Tresemme. Um, lost the cap there. A little Tresemme. Uh, what am I trying to say? Hairspray. I really like the keratin one better, but whatever goes on sale is what my husband gets, and that's fine. Okay, this is the Cottage Garden. This I got in a Margot Elena box. I like the Margot Elena box, but I feel like they're, if you like really, really heavily perfumed products, you will like the Margot Elena box. I feel like everything is just a lot in that box. The scents, some of it's good, but some of it's just, I'm just not a flowery girl and I feel like a lot of it is very floral. Um, and the Cottage Garden was one of them. This was a grapefruit and blood orange. So I did think this one was good, but I did stop receiving that box. But that was one of the items left over. I haven't received that box for a little while. Um, this is a clean and clear deep action. This is another one that was floating around the kids' bathroom that they didn't use. So I just finished. No, nobody was a fan. This is, oh, this is my number one. It is pricey, but this is my number one absolute favorite serum. I live by this. This is the TLC Frambu Glycolic Night Serum. I don't wear it at night. I'm such a rebel. I wear it during the day. I did buy their day serum. Not a fan. I just really like this night serum. And when it goes on sale, I did not buy it this time because I'm a little bit covered up on serums but I really do love this one. It's my number one top serum and it's super pricey, just FYI. All right, the next thing in here is the Body Silk Marshmallow Fluff by the Beehive Bathhouse. This stuff was lovely. I had a sweet subscriber, Catherine, send me, is it Catherine? Catherine, if I just got your name wrong, you know who you are. Um, send me a whole box of products from this Beehive Bathhouse and I really liked all of them. So that one was good. I got this, this is my favorite Hemp's scent. If you're looking for a really good body lotion, you can also find these at Ulta. Um, CVS carries them, but the best place to get them is TJ Maxx. Again, I wanna go to TJ Maxx. This is the Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon scent. Beautiful, beautiful. I love this scent. I actually went out and bought the big size after I used that one. This is the Tresemme Keratin Smooth, um, 
smoothing gel. This is what I use in my hair every day. Went through a bottle of that. Just clear, put like two pumps in, run it through your hair, just kind of smooths it out as you're working with it. Um, this is the, oh, this is awful, y'all. This was so bad, so bad. I will struggle through products even if I don't use them. Um, that's just the way we are. If we buy something, we try and use it up. This, I couldn't get through this. I, I had hopes for this because I really like Milani products. I love a eye primer and I like lash primer. This is the Ma Milani. It's called the violet one. It's a lash primer. And instead of turning your eye, your lashes white, it kind of turns them lavender. This stuff is so thick and so clumpy. And like it kept like oozing out of the tube. You can see I had to give up on this. I thought it was awful. If you see this in the drugstore, run far away from it. Not worth your money. Not worth your money. But what is worth your money is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Lash Primer. So this again, wait, is this the primer or is this the mascara? I lied, this is the mascara. I don't think, oh, I do, I do have one. This is the base, this is the primer, the Luminous Base. And I put this on every time. You put it on before you put your mascara on, turns your lashes white, and then you put on your mascara. This is my number two favorite mascara. It's super budget friendly and it is amazing. This is the um, Voluminous Lash Paradise. And then I put this on top of the primer and it makes your lashes thick and nice and beautiful. That's the wand. This one is just a little bit dried out. I finished it. This is a fabulous combo. Highly recommend if you're looking for great drugstore uh, sort of makeup. Okay, the next thing in here, this is also one that I could not finish. That happens so rarely. I think I got this in my BoxyCharm, but it might've been an Ipsy. This is the Nikita Dragon Dragon Beauty Color Corrector. I, this was so orange. I tried everything and my daughter is really good with makeup, like really good with makeup. She played around with it and we both did not think this was worth it. Um, I don't know, just wasn't for us. So sending that away. The next thing in here is the Honest Company. What is this? Their packaging is so light. I can't even read what it was. I think this is a face wash. Yeah, this is a gel cleanser face wash. And I thought this was lovely. Honest is a nice product. I think that I got this in a Target beauty box. And I liked it. I don't know if it beats, it doesn't beat my, my favorite Pacifica cleanser. I wouldn't buy this over that one, but I did think it was nice. Um, I have a couple of things in here from the, I'm still, I haven't got this box for a long time, but the, uh, what's it called? The Fortune soap company is that it fortune cookie soap company um they have a subscription box of like bath and body and soap stuff and i like their products except for this was a milk bath i liked this but this was little cubes they were cubes of different colors of bath scrub and i think you were supposed to put them in your hand and they would sort of melt but they wouldn't so i was taking these little cubes and trying to like exfoliate my skin i powered through them but i did not enjoy these Okay, oh, it's probably my favorite thing in my whole box. This is the Brazilian Crush Body Spray. If you've ever tried the De Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream or Bum Bum Cream, this smells just like it. There's none left, only in a body spray. I can't get any out. This stuff smells amazing. I did treat myself at Christmas and bought a big, huge bottle of it. It's almost gone and I'm going to grieve when it's gone. If you've never smelled the Boom Boom Cream or this Brazilian Crush, you've got to go in, in uh, Sephora when they open and try it because you will love it. It's a great summer scent, but I wear it all year. As a matter of fact, I wore it um, the last time I went to the doctor for a checkup back in January and the nurse was like, what is that you have on? That smells incredible. You know that's a sign of a good perfume or body spray when somebody stops you and asks what it is. This was the Burt's Bees Moisturizing Lip Mask. I think I got this the same time I got those eye patches. Wasn't impressed with this. Oh, no, I lied. I did like this. I did like this. Now, most of the time when you get a lip mask, I don't feel like they do anything. I forgot. This one I did really like. It had a lot of like really good oils in it. When you pulled it out, it looked like a sheet mask and it didn't feel like it had anything on it. It almost felt dry. And I was like, 
hmm. And I put it on and immediately you could just feel like the good oils from it. I totally remember this now and I loved it. It's been a while. I think it was like January. Matter of fact, I think I did an Instagram story on this talking about how much I liked it. Okay. Um, there's just a couple other things left. This is the Marc Jacobs. I think this was called coconut. Hold on. This was called, this is the Marc Jacobs Perfecting Coconut Setting Mist. I don't know if they make this anymore because last time I was in Sephora, I looked in the Marc Jacobs section and I didn't see it. This stuff is setting spray, but when you spray it on, it smells just like the beach. I enjoyed every minute of the setting spray. I got it in a box. I don't remember which one and loved every minute of it. So if I could find it again, I'd probably purchase that. Um, these are two things that I thought were pretty bad. This is the eye pencil from The Body Shop. I love every product from The Body Shop except for this one. Their pen eye pencils I think are awful. They are dry, even if you sort of sharpen them down. I just don't think they're very good. And then this is the sugar, um, pen, eyeliner pen. Um, it just dried out very quickly. I stored it upside down. I tried to um, take the tip out and turn it around. I just didn't, I just didn't feel like you got much in there for the price. All right, what else is there? This is the It Confidence in a Cream. Love this. We'll repurchase it. Matter of fact, I already repurchased a full size of this. I'm just not using it right now. I'm using the LMS cream. Nice. This is probably one of my favorite creams. Okay, and we have uh, Olay Whip. This was nice. I think this was in a Target box. Very good. And then last but not least, I have a thousand wishes. This is another thing for myself of shame. This was a thousand wishes little scent that I got from Bath and Body Works, probably on their like 50% off or whatever, this little bottle of perfume. It does smell really good. I don't really like the shower gel and stuff. I think it's a little bit too sweet for me, but I did like this little bitty perfume and enjoy. Okay, you guys, so those were my MDs. I hope you enjoyed them. Tell me some of your favorite things. Are some of mine some of yours? I would love to hear. And let me know if you would like to see this video more often, maybe a subscription box, faves or fails, and what interesting name could we call it. All right, you guys, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.